Good evening and welcome to Caesar Pogo. So straight off the bat, we see a tentacle. Beautiful. We beat that tentacle up. We fire a scold, because there's no point in firing dynamic punch at a tentacle. It's resisted. So that's a waste of energy. Both build up same time, do more damage with scold. So it's a surprising water hitting water Pokemon. What a lot of damage. Put it into the yellow, which is always a good sign. Obviously, this thing is a fairy consumer. So they have tried to do they've tried to drop us with the acid spray, and then they've brought out their Wiggly. So obviously what we do is we match a Wiggly with our fresh Snorlax. We fire the body slam. We build up to the next body slam. I talk too fast to these matches sometimes. But obviously we're gonna have to shield because they're gonna want to try and take that last bit. They know that they can't farm us down without us uh, firing. Um, they also know that they're about to take this if they have to. Um, so they take our shield, so they probably feel quite happy about that. And we take their Wiggly right out of the way. So we've got even shield and we let, obviously, uh, Snorlax go down. So we come out of Wrath and we are hitting Skull, but we know we're not going to hit it. Uh, I'm also not going to try and shield. Although I'm pretty sure I probably could make this Skull if I did it, because we are resisted again. It's not worth it. So we let Frostlass come out. Now this has got Hydro or it's got Acid Spray. So we let, we're pretty sure that's an Acid Spray count. So we let the Acid Spray come through and we're just going for the farm. So we're gonna farm this down and we're gonna see what's in the back. So we've got rid of the Wiggly. Now we've got a Marowak, so that's beautiful. So I've almost got two Shadow Balls, exactly as much you could build up. So we build up to a great and they actually take it to the face. Um, so I respect for that there. All I've got to do is chip them down. If this wasn't a closer situation, I may well have lost because I'm one move away from losing. As you can see, one more chip, I would have been down. So lag would have done me over. So like GG's. So we get the Stunfisk. So this is the Alolan Unova. Unova, so that's stun disc, and it does a discharge. So this thing has just debuffed itself. So we're firing the skull, and we're fully expecting to take a shield. We don't. We actually take a lot of their life. So fair play to them. And now we're going to let them take us because I'm not wasting my shield on a Pokemon that doesn't have a move ready and has no life. Those two factors came straight to play. Plus the fact that because they took the debuff, we can definitely farm them down with Frostlass. Now they feel comfortable because they've got Dugon in the back. Which is, is quite difficult, but we're just going to go for the uh, Shadow Balls because Avalanche is resisted. There's no point, it will do next to no damage. If And if they want a shield, it will be completely wasted. So, at least this way, although it's a little bit more energy, if they don't, don't shield, which they're most probably not going to, they will take a lot of damage. And we have taken nice, the Icy Wind, so it's dropped our, def our attack. And they've just switched out, we go straight into our Snorlax, and Snorlax brings a top left. Look at that. So, GG to them, thank you. So we find a, wait, so there we go, the Obama Snow. Now this is the, the tall tail, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the lead, Who who's gonna shield first? I'm not shielding your weather, weather ball. Are you gonna shield my, 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 are you gonna shield my dynamic punch? I would, but you're not gonna, no you're not. So that is a one shot on lead, taking it out straight away. Then we know that we can scald this down. They don't know we've got scald, but they've already seen dynamic punch, so they're not worried about that. The shield just in case, which is the right call. We would have taken a lot of damage of them. Wouldn't have one-shot them, we would have done a lot of damage. Now they've one-shot us with their Shadow Bang. That was a nice hit. That was quite a nice hit. Wasn't expecting to do so much damage. But we still reckon we've got this. Take another Shadow Bone. It's not going to cause too much damage. We insta-switch here. So I've insta-switched straight into a Nine Tails. This is not a flex. I've had to sit down and go, what am I doing with my life? But actually, if you watch the gameplay and you see the way this works out, it's actually a really good setup. Because they now have no shields, we've taken their last shield. We can block the weather ball. And again, as long as there's no energy uh, stored up, we can do this. Because as you can see, we can get to the uh, shadow ball, almost one shot from there, before they can uh, before they can take us out, which is great. So we Snorlax. If this was overheat, it would be able to be a different story. I'm pretty sure we're probably out of the game. Especially when it came to this bit, even if we had a tiny bit of life, we just wouldn't have had enough to get through this. We are super effective on our licks, not on our body slams. So I am sweating. I'm sweating. I'm wondering if I'm going to win. I need to get the body slam and two more licks. Got one lick, and now I'm going to get shadow boned. Is it going to kill me? I know I resist it, but damn, my health is low. So GGs. These matches are just. There's, this is uh, this is kind of like a shoutcast of the best matches I've had. Uh, I really enjoyed Remix. So much fun. This team worked really well. It just worked really well as well. Um, so when it comes to the next Remix, this is the team I'm going to be running. Definitely. So we find Articuno. Articuno is one of those flyers you don't mind on your on your fighting because it doesn't run fight flying moves. So we haven't really got much to worry. We've got Ice fast move, and we've going to have Ice and Rock with the uh, with the charge moves. 
So I ain't got much to worry about. We stay in. We don't block. We expect to take an icy wind. Maybe we'll take a thingy, but no, we take a hurricane. They we're running spicy moves, so fair play to them. So we're coming in, we're going to hit them with the avalanche. We're not going to bother the shadow ball. It's one extra move, and although uh, it's ice Pokemon, this is actually neutral, not resisted. Because the flying is super effective, ice is not effective, it gives it a neutral. So for a neutral hit, that was really big. And obviously we were expecting another hurricane because uh, we were a bit scared. So <laughs> but being scared gave us a win con, basically, because as you can see, they now have a Cresselia in the back. I mean, I don't think this is not going to go my way, if I'm honest. We take a lot of damage there, especially the fact they didn't want to give their shield advantage. And then we switch. We could have switched one after, and maybe I'm being punished for that. That's maybe where that lag come from. I switched one soon, too soon. But at the same time, we find a Whiskast in the back. And what's going to happen against Whiskast against uh, Shadow Snorlax? Whiskast is going to take a beating. I'm not thinking about shielding anything. They've already under Half-Life. They're easily quite a big chunk under half life, so they're going to have to shield. So they did. They shield. No problem for us. I don't need to shield. I want no reason. A wish cast cannot put us, even the shadow snorlax can't put us down from here. Cannot. So you see that mud bomb, half life again. It's not going to take half life. But look at that. Well, nice chunk, but not enough. And I can still, because we are resisting the fast move here. We're resisting. Um, I don't know, uh, but we're resisting it. Uh, so I'll definitely have to look at that one. But we get to chip. We're not going to make the body slam, but we try to anyway. We get that big old chip, and this is a grass knot, but we're shielding anyway. Because if there's another little bit of lag, and that lasts for more than one move, I could be dead. I really could. So if they can build up moves, this and the other, it's just it's not going to be pretty. So we shield up, left, bang. So GG's to everyone. I really enjoyed all these matches, and happy yellow hunting.